Hi, how's it going? I'm Christy Lemire. That's Alonzo Duraldi. We are barefoot in the park today. <laughs> and at, actually, we have shoes on. I'm wearing shoes. <laughs> I'm, where's my shoe? I'm not nearly that flexible, but I will attest that I I'm can wearing, put a I'm wearing up, shoes. Actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're the yoga queen. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about, speaking of being um, flexible and healthy, Jane Fonda. There you go. Looking good. Um, Jane Fonda and Robert Redford um, back together again exactly 50 years after Barefoot in the Park for Our Souls at Night, which is a very different movie. Yes, this is their uh, fourth film together, uh, The Chase, Bear from the Park, mm -hmm. Electric Horseman, now this one. Uh, they play, uh, he is a, a, an older, uh, well, actually I guess they're both widowed, now that I think about it. And, and uh, mm -hmm. they're neighbors, they don't really know each other that well. And uh, Fonda's character comes over one night and says, how would you feel about occasionally coming over to my place to sleep together? And she means in the sense of sleeping, like just having somebody there next to you when you fall asleep at night and when you wake up in the morning. And because they're both really lonely, this seems like a good idea and they look into it. And a friendship develops and a mature relationship develops and can they make it work? Take a look. Hello, Lewis. Hello, Miss Moore. Addie. Is everything all right? Can I talk to you about something? Sure. We've both been on our own for years. I'm lonely, and I'm guessing you might be too. How long have we known each other? How long have we been neighbors? We don't really know each other. How about we get to know each other? I don't want anybody to think anything bad. You know how it is, people talk. <laughs> so we talk a lot on the show about take your grandma movies. Yeah. This is like quintessential <laughs> take your grandma movie, but like take anyone movie who appreciates, you know, Solid acting sure. and just watching these two stars on screen together. I mean, it's it's a really nice. It movie. is nice, it's nice, nice, so nice. That and was that was the word yes, I was using too. And, yeah. yeah, but you know what? Watching two pros who know what they're doing, who have such lovely chemistry with each other, and it delves into actual emotions and regret, yeah. and uh, and the way that their relationship plays out is never like wacky. It's no. never like wacky old people jokes about Viagra. Yes. I appreciate that. There's, there's great decency and affection with these people. It is so rare that we. Get a movie that takes older people seriously and that takes the personal, you know, romantic, emotional lives of older people seriously. And yeah, so it's really nice to see the two of them kind of nail that. They have this sort of easy chemistry from having known each other for so long. There's a lived in sense to the way they relate to each other. And then the more we get to know these characters, the more we realize they have regrets. They have things in their past that they wish had maybe gone differently. And you know, it's not just this sort of like, you know, you we 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 have this we have the way of sort of infantilizing old people to sort of make them all one thing, like they're grouchy or they're sweet or whatever. And you know, these are complicated people who have had, you know, they've lived complicated lives. And the movie doesn't really know how to come up with obstacles for them and some of them feel a little contrived. Like with, with the son and with her, with Matthias showing her as her son. Yeah, exactly, you know. And by the way, her grandson uh, is, uh, that's the young Sheldon kid. Oh, he's super cute yeah. and not like precocious youngster. No, no, I no. He's, he's supposed to be a seven year old kid and he seemed like a realistic seven year old yeah, kid to me. I, I bought him. Yeah. Uh, but there's, uh, you know, it's directed by Ritesh Batra who did The Lunchbox and Sense of an Ending. And he trusts the actors a lot, which I, I appreciate. There's a scene where uh, after the two of them have had kind of a romantic getaway, uh, they are driving back home and you see, all these different things passing over their faces and it's just this one long take of the two of them in a pickup truck and each of them is thinking and wondering and 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 excited and afraid and unsure and 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 you know and and just all these things are sort of passing over their their faces and it's just it, it's that's the kind of acting i really enjoy yeah and they don't have to over explain everything yeah. right this the subtlety of just their craft on display does that yeah and it takes a long time for them to get to that eventual romantic getaway yeah. and so when it happens it just feels natural and earned and like there's there's more emotion to it because it wasn't, you know, they, they had built up this solid friendship and they really gotten to know each other. And so when, when it's like, are we gonna do this? Like, yes, we are, right? <laughs> and, and it's wonderful. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, 
it's lovely, and this little town is kind of too adorable, and there's a whole uh, subplot where he goes to the diner with his buddies, and they give him shit for having yeah. this new girlfriend. And But and uh, I love, though, that the gossipy diner people are all men. <laughs> men, yeah, Bruce yeah, Dern is Yeah, Bruce here, Dern, yeah. like, and runs his circle, and they're all, like, super judgmental and catty, yeah. you know? And it's the kind of thing where in an older movie, it would have been like the, the uptight, prim ladies of right. the town would be looking as, askance yeah. at all this. But no, it's the dudes who have nothing better to do than, like, about everybody else, yeah. so that, that was kind of funny. Is, yeah, is there tension? Is there a villain? I, I, I don't know, is it just the emotional obstacles to getting there to happiness and to yeah. forever together? I don't know, is that, is that, yeah, there's no tension, right? It's just sort not, of, not it's nice and it develops in a, in a I mean, genial and, and, way. And they have to sort of figure out some of their own stuff if they're gonna get to another, you know, the next level with each other. And so that's, there is that, it's not a complete sort of cakewalk. Mm -hmm. I like how the, I like the art direction of this film because it, everything that you see like seems like it was bought at a Walmart, <laughs> you know, like it, but it, but not in a way that is like they're mocking it's anything. It's not condescending. They're no. not, it's not yeah. condescending. They're not trying to make it look terrible. And it, it just, I mean, it, it looks like a real sort of, you know, it's kind of a rural area, you know, it's and small it, town, Colorado. It's outside of Denver. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and so, so the, the, there's nothing about the decor that suggests that the that the movie is in any way kind of like looking down on it. No. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like a New York, you know, art director's idea of what a house in Colorado would look yeah. like. It, it felt very lived in and believable, and in a, in an unshowy way, which I appreciate. Yeah, it's not like a proliferation of quilts. <laughs> exactly. It's not like too many quilts. Yeah. Like just the right number. They, I, yeah, I think. they 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 know where to draw the line. Yeah. Um, so this is really lovely and, and really beautifully acted and really sweet. And uh, if you want like a smart, low key film that everyone can go see, yeah. go take the grandparents. Yeah, and it's on Netflix. So. Oh yeah, uh, that's true. So unless you're in New York and LA, you're not gonna get to see the big screen anyway. That's but uh, but it's a perfect sort of like snuggle up on the couch and watch actors you like fall in love. Yes, yeah. and then go watch um, Jane Fonda and Robert Redford's interview with Megan. No, Kelly. God. Go watch that. Go go watch Jane Fonda suffer no fools on wow. the Megan Kelly show. Yeah, her face is amazing. Oh, I know. <laughs> and and you know that like a, a year ago this time, Megan Kelly would have been talking would have would have referred to her as Hanoi Jane or something. You know. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was a. Doozy. But now Megan Kelly likes fun. Okay, so um, my number is a seven. Solid. Yeah, I, yeah, I give it a seven. This isn't. They're not. They're not reinventing the cinema here, but it is it is it is a solid being what it wants to be kind yes. of movie. So um, our number is a seven to eighty six percent on the tomato meter. So go find it. Bye.